Is Walt Disney World and Disneyland getting rid of the DAS slash DOS pass? Hi, I'm Saint Hooch. If we haven't met yet, I'm a former Walt Disney World and Disneyland Paris cast member, here to share tips, tricks, facts, and stories from when I worked there. Uh, if you haven't hit that follow and like button, please do so. It's greatly appreciated. Is the Disney Disabilities Access Service Program going away? Uh, this is a program that was designed to help those traveling with disabilities, uh, accommodating them uh, to help them throughout their day while visiting the parks. The quick, easy answer is no, it is not going away. However, some big changes were announced that uh, you may want to look into. I'm going to go over some of those right now that could impact uh, your future eligibility for the Disney DAS slash DOS Pass. These changes are not only for Walt Disney World, but for also Disneyland. For more details about Disneyland, I encourage you to go to Disney.com uh, to look at those, um, those different options. First, let's talk about Walt Disney World in that there's no longer a 30-day window in order to uh, re-register for each time that you visit the parks. That is now being extended to 120 days. So there's less hassle of you having to have to reapply every 30 days. Now it's gonna be 120 days. Stated on the website, it appears that the DAS Pass uh, will now be limited to those traveling with disabilities similar to autism um, or, or other comparable quote disabilities um does that mean that if you do not have autism and you have something else that you've been diagnosed with that you will not get the the the, the accommodation i'm not saying that because i'm not the one that makes those decisions you will still need to contact uh guest relations and go through the interview process as you normally would to see if you are eligible for the das pass you now are required to do your interview uh, via video through the app um, or the, the link to set up the, the interview. Uh, the person who is requesting the pass must be present. Um, after May 19th, actually starting on May 20th, you will no longer be able to go to Walt Disney World and go to a guest relations location to request a DAS Pass. Uh, Disneyland, I believe, will still offer, or continue to offer uh, that option as the ticket windows out front. Another big change with the DAS Pass is that now you will only be eligible to have four people in your party, not six. So it will be the person who has the DAS Pass with an additional three people. Um, so they've cut down the number from the size of the party. Um, I'm not sure if exceptions will be made. That is something you will have to talk to a guest relations cast member once you schedule your interview. Uh, you can go on the Disney.com, hit Walt Disney World, go to the website. There is a number that you can call with questions, uh, and they may be able to better answer those questions for you. I'm just not in a position to be able to uh, talk about those types of exceptions and or what determines approval in order to get the DAS Pass. What do you think? A lot of people have been been clamoring for a long time for for a revamp of the Disney Das Pass. Uh, does this work for you? Are you glad these changes are being made? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, hooch on.